This is Stephanie from statisticshowto.com and in this video I'll show you how to find the area in a one-tailed distribution. I'm going to show you both a left tail and a right tail like I have here. So first the right tail, let's say this is a z-score of 1.2. There are two types of z-tables I can use. I can use the right z-table which gives me this area or I can use the left Z table which gives me this area. If you do use the right hand Z table just need to know that you're going to have to add 0.5 this area to your final value but I'm going to use the left Z table and I'm looking for a value of 1.2 so I'm going to scroll down the column until I find 1.2 1.2 is right here. There are no digits after the 2. So I can look in this first column and I get 0.8849. So this entire area is 0.8849. Now I found this white area here, but what I actually want is this yellow area. The area under a curve is equal to 1. So if I subtract this area which is 0.8849 that will give me this little tail here and that equals 0.1151 now what happens if I have a left tail instead of a right tail say my value is at negative 1.2 instead of positive 1.2 the normal curve is symmetrical so this value here is going to be exactly the same as the value for 1.2 I looked up earlier. So this area to this point is 0.8849 which means this area is also 0.8849. So my yellow area is exactly the same it is 0.1151 for both of these I was using a left Z table. Let me show you what happens when you use a right Z table. I'm on the right hand Z table. I'm going to scroll down until I see 1.2 and this time it says 0.3849 because this is a right Z table that has just given me this small area here. The area under the curve is 1 which means that the remainder of this area, this section right here, is equal to half or 0.5. So all I need to do if I'm using the right table is to add my value to 0.5 and if I go ahead and do that I get exactly the same answer, 0.8849. Subtract from 1, I'll get 0.1151 for the area. So the only difference between the left and the right hand Z table is that if you are using the right hand Z table, you should add 0.5 to the number you find in the table and that will give you the area. Subtract from 1, which gives you the tail area. Check us out at statisticshowto.com for more articles and videos on everything elementary statistics.